today. The uh, front of the rig is getting a new look. Before we went to Reggie Machine a while ago, I chucked up the pole. That way, that's just repaint the full bar or paint it half and half. The majority of people said to just repaint it. I didn't like that. I'm going to paint it half and half. So we're going white across the bottom here. Going to leave the, the hoop black, which I will repaint, but not today because I don't have time. And then we're going to paint the fenders as well. Make sure they're all white so it all blends in. Good looking in. So, yeah, I'll show you what I got. Alright, so we hit up super cheap for a couple of things. Drop sheet and some masking tape to masking tape everything up and then get over spray. We got two cans of edge primer, I'm gonna do two coats. And then we got the coarse white auto spray, it's like touch-up spray, so it should be mint. Apparently it duplicates your original colour, which is I just got the stark white one, so I don't know, hopefully it'll blend in nice and look mint. Um, I was going to go for the $5 cans, but one convinced me to go for the $20 ones because I don't really want it to look bad. And then I just got one can of thick coat, so it'll just give us a bit more of a gloss. I'm going to start by wet sanding this down with probably about a 60 grit sponge. Yeah, we'll just wet sand and then that should get any sort of bits of rust and stuff off. And then we'll just mask and tape it all up. So I'm going to keep the spotties and everything on, number plate on, just tape around it. I don't really see a problem. If I was doing like, like proper proper and not doing a rattle can job, I'd probably take it all off and take the bull bar off and everything, but I'm doing a rattle can job, so I reckon it'll look fine as is anyway. Alright, that's got like any contaminants off. You can see here, I brought the rust there back to bare metal. There's a couple of bits of rust that I've had to bring back. Looking all good now. Just dry that off and then we'll mask it up and get ready for paint. Alright, so I've got some newspaper that I'm going to use to like cover the hoops because the drop sheet's going to be mainly for like across the body there. Once it's done, it should look a bit like, like that. A bit like that, so all masked up now. Yeah, look, it's not perfect, but it'll do. Got the snorkel masked up too. I plan on just using a piece of cardboard to sort of shield around the whole thing so I don't get overspray. Just got the edges marked out and I'll use this. We'll clean it with turps first and then we'll get into our first coat of primer. First coat of primer going on now. Been taking this for like five minutes. So. Oh, I'll get you a better view of this. Oh, that was a cool transition. First coat done. Just got to do the fenders. I'll get you a better view for that too. <laughs> And those fenders are done now. They look like they're starting to run, so we might have to see how we go with those ones drying, but up here, literally already like dry. Give the fenders like 10, 15-ish, Mark, I'll have lunch real quick, and then I'll come back and we'll see how we're looking. So, Prama's all nice and dry now. Actually, come up pretty good. I just lightly sent the fenders with 150 grit, just because they're sort of running, so there were like some spots that were like thicker and some spots that weren't. So, yeah, anyway, we'll get this done now. Second coat done. Yeah, look, not too bad. On the fenders, it is running a bit. We'll sort that out though. From far away, you won't see it like that. Should look good. It already looks really mint. I'll give you a bit of a better look. Yeah, I'm really happy with how it's looking now. Just imagine that white. Give it about 10, 15. And then we'll get on with the white. 10 minutes up. It's gonna be nice and dry now. Get some paint and we'll start getting it on. Let's do this, ready? No! Hang on. Okay, let's act like that didn't just happen and let's do this. Oh! Oh! We're done. How good does that look? Let's get a step back. Yeah, that's gonna look mint. I was just talking to Lachlan and he was saying how he wants to do his bonnet in this now. It's actually pretty good stuff. The fenders still aren't the best. Fix that up on the second coat. The back ones have actually done a bit better. Looks good from a bit more of a distance. Looking pretty good. And up front, looking pretty good too. I'm gonna give the bull bar 15 minutes until I start back on that because it was just I probably spent 15 minutes finishing off the rest of it. I didn't film it, but we got the second coat and that has cleaned it up heaps more. These fenders are looking really good. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. So we'll just hit it with a clear so that then it's got the gloss like the car does. So I'll give it about a half hour to dry. Just look at her. All right, we're ready. And this time I'm gonna do it like this because I don't wanna pop it off. Start laying the clear. All right, so it's done now. It's looking mint, it's got that gloss to it. Oh, it just looks so good. Um, I'm looking at it now, but I'm not gonna show you guys until it's dried and I've taken everything off, and then we'll do a big reveal. So, I have to go wait about 
half an hour for it to fully dry and we'll see you then. done just look at her in the sunlight i reckon that looks mad that's wow like, i'll show you in the imperfections it's not perfect my masking tape job wasn't the best but you come back here tell you what she looks perfect fenders aren't perfect either there's a bit of overspray but nothing but a little bit of wet sanding won't get out i reckon that's men Also got the Rhino exhaust ones currently, click the link down below, um, it'll give you a special code, chuck that in, save yourself 5% off any of their stuff, so um, yeah get around that, and if you didn't see the video of the Rhino exhaust install, which is the one that I got, um, go check that out as well, sounds mint, great video, actually both of those videos are like my two best performing videos so far, um, but yeah, I reckon this paint looks mint. So happy with that, it just transformed it. Looks really good. Definitely need to do it on the hoops now, make them actually black instead of being rust. But yeah, um, yeah, that'll wrap up today's video, I think. I got two 18th tonight. I had my last test yesterday, so I'm done grade 12 now. I've got graduation stuff next week, so that's pretty mint. And then schoolies. So honestly, don't know when the next video will be, but. Um, I guess I'll see you when I see you. So, um, of course, if you like the video, give us a like, and if you're new here, give us a subscribe. It helps us a lot, and um, yeah, been getting a lot of support lately. So, legend for that. Um, any questions? Chuck them in the comment section down below, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Now they're in. Sit. 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 Sit.